Hello everyone, this is Dave Dev TV 2.0. In this episode, we're going to talk about what we're going to build in this series, which is going to be Mittens, which is basically like Twitter, but it's, it's I'm just calling it Mittens, and instead of tweets, I'm calling them Meows. So I guess you could say it's like a, a cat-themed Twitter. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a page, and it's going to look like this, and you know, you know how it looks. It's just like a feed of text messages like, hey, I just knocked a cup over or like, hey, my owner just said hi to me. And um, on the left side here, what we're going to do is build a user system so that you can log in with like a username and password and uh, post as yourself. But we're gonna start simple. We're just gonna make a simple page layout. I'm making this super basic um, for all the people, you know, of, there's the people of different levels out there. So some people already know how to do HTML, CSS, JavaScript a little bit, and they wanna know more of the node server stuff. And we'll get to that. So in this series, we're gonna do JavaScript on the front end with Angular. We're gonna do Node.js on the server, Express.js. Uh, MongoDB so it's like it's called Meanstack so it's been around for a few years now and uh, I've come to use it a lot so and a lot of people want to know it so I'm here to explain it and uh, so this is what we're gonna make let's get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is basically download sublime so you could just google sublime text it's a website it looks like this and uh, you just download it I'm on a Windows computer right now but it's got a uh, support for Mac and uh, pretty much everything out there probably. And uh, so once I have that installed, um, what I'm gonna do is make a basic website by starting with a basic page. I called it index.html. Uh, I put it in a folder. I, I put everything in, in a folder called SRC, short for source. And I put it right on the C drive. So, um, so this project is called mittens. I'll put it in a folder called mittens and then index. So what I can do is I can just double click it to open it and uh, boom, right there on the browser. So most of you probably know that already. So what we're gonna do is, uh, once we get going, is we're gonna make a simple layout and then we're gonna start adding on our functionality. So let's get started with that. So I think in Sublime, you could just type HTML and boom, hit tab, and I think it types most of it for you. So there you go. And I'll put the title as mittens and for body. So this is where it gets interesting. So the first thing we're oh, I don't want to save that. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, a simple layout. So let's just say h1. H1 is just a big title. So I'll say mittens. So let's save this, and we'll Alt Tab to get back to uh, the index.html. It's over here actually, and you can just refresh it. And there you go, mittens. So the first thing I'm going to do is install something called Bootstrap. So the way you do that is Google Bootstrap, like so. I spelt it wrong, but it figures it out anyway. Boom, download it. Um, I'm just going to download it straight up. And so what is Bootstrap? So this is a pretty popular thing for uh, for layouts for for the visual of a website so i just open up the the zip file that it downloaded and so we got css fonts js so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this folder let me go back to my mittens folder here and i'm just gonna plop this right in and for those of you who normally like to have like a proper uh, a proper assortment of folders when they do a project. I mean, this is going to look kind of not so good compared to what you normally do, but I'm just doing this to teach. So I'm going to keep very simple, just like a nice simple index.html, and I'm going to include that file. Um, what is this? I can't even remember. What's the... Uh, let me just Google it real quick. So I'll, I'm going to teach you a little lesson about Googling stuff. Like, for example, I don't even remember how to... Uh, include a uh, CSS in HTML. I'm just gonna, don't use W3 schools, just use it as a reference, but like, 
it's pretty nifty so i use it a lot and people say you shouldn't use it she's uh mdn docs so so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna include bootstrap so i think it's in the bootstrap folder that i just downloaded and it's in a file i can even find it for you here bootstrap css and then i think this is a css file this the extensions are hidden right now in here css bootstrap.css so i save it and what it's going to do is do all sorts of awesome stuff to your website so i'm not going to explain it but you'll figure it out as you go it's basically awesome where did my oh so i'm going to close that so let's give it a good refresh okay so as you can see the the font of that title changed so that's pretty cool, right? So you just included this nice styling sheet and it just makes everything nicer. So now, you know, some of you may have known the table tag for laying things out. Um, what you do in, in Bootstrap is something different. Instead of a table tag, you do div class equals row. So think of it like an Excel sheet. Um, in Excel, you have rows and columns. And in Instead of that here, you have rows. Actually, you do have rows and columns here. So you have an outer div, that's the row, and the inner div, which is div class equals call. Now here's what's interesting. Um, you say call for column, and you say MD for medium-sized screens. We'll get back to that later. And let's say four. Four, and so what that means is the grid system in and bootstrap is out of 12. So if I put a number four here, it's going to be four divided by 12. It's going to be one third of the width of the screen. So if I put coal MD six, it'll be half the screen because six is half of 12. So it's out of 12. So I'm going to put four because this is going to be the left hand side of the feed. And I'm going to just copy this like so. And I'm going to put an eight here because four it has to add up to 12 essentially i mean it doesn't have you can leave out this second column and it'll be one third of the screen but i always like to have it add up it makes me feel better inside so um so on the left side i'll just put left side just so you see this real quick left side right side so it's going to be basically um let me refresh this so Look at the width of the screen here. So the left side is is uh, four over twelve, so one third of the screen. The right side is two thirds of the screen because of this grid system. And when you resize, it automatically does it. And what's cool about Bootstrap that differentiates it from the table tag is if I go small, it just stacks them because it's like mobile first. It's it's good for mobile, and you always want to develop. Nowadays, 2016, you want to develop what's good for all sizes of screens, including mobile and desktop and tablet. So, but for now, we'll keep it simple. Do desktop. So, so let's do some of our own styling. Put the style tag up here. And let's call it, um, we'll call it feed. And this will describe the styling of the overall uh, list of the tweets, or I should say meows, basically the entire page. So we'll put a border around it. But before we put a border, let's put a uh, margin. So let's say left margin. Uh, oh, sorry, it's actually margin left. Margin left 10 px. Actually, let's do 100. So that's 100 pixels. Save that. Let's refresh. Oops. I normally do. Uh... Oh, that didn't... oh, sorry. I didn't put the correct class on here. So this is really this is going to be the feed class. So I, I called it feed up here, and then I put feed down here to say this row is is what I'm going to call the feed. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to refresh it. And there you go. So you have a hundred margin on the left hand side here. So let's add a margin on the right. 
margin right, 100 px. And let's give it a margin on top, let's say 50 px, just to give it some space away from the title of the page mittens. And now let's just see how that looks real quick. No, not yet. I will, I promise, someday. Refresh, and there we go. We got some padding around it, or margin. Margin is basically the space outside of the object. Padding is like padding left, padding right, padding top. That's the space inside the object. So we're just, this is a couple ways you could do it. So now let's add a border. Border, uh, it's a couple ways you could do a border. You could do like border left, or you could just say border and just say one PX uh, solid instead of like striped and then black. So let's save that. Uh, let's refresh, and there you go. You got a nice border. Um, let's put a minimum height. Um, in height, this is not the cleanest way to do this, but I just want to throw it together, make it look decent for now. I refresh that. So there you go. So it's like a, a feed. So on the left side, we are going to put a login box. Um, so I'll call it login. Just drop my camera here. So log in, put a line break, and we'll put an input text box. So input type equals text. Um, size, really primitive. Just, uh, I think I usually put 30. I mean, normally you would use the CSS up here to style this, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna make it decently sized and log in. I'm gonna copy it. Oops. I'm put two BRs. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna refresh. So there you go, you have a login box. I should actually say, I'm gonna put a placeholder. Uh, username and placeholder equals password. All that does is just puts a word inside the box so that uh once you start typing, it goes away. I'm sure you've all seen this. And for password, instead of making a plain text like this, I'm going to um, do actually type equals password. And save that. And then, oops, let me refresh it. And there you go, now you can't see it. But it, the value is still there, so we can still send it to the server to log in. Um, so, that's all I'll do this video, and the next video I'll start on the feed, the layout, and then after that we'll go into the, the good stuff, the JavaScript, and, and get some functionality. So stick with it. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Thanks.